he had a background of uh, from uh, Becomo was uh, a modest background and uh, I believe he never forgot that. Friday marked the second day Quebecers could pay their respects to former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney as he lies in repose at Montreal's St. Patrick's Basilica. A state funeral will be held for the 18th Prime Minister at Notre Dame Basilica at 11 a.m. on Saturday. He was the uh, Prime Minister when I came into work in Canada. That was 1988. He's very uh, uh, knowledgeable, intelligent, and how do I say? It's, it's one person, like, there's nobody you can uh, compare with him. Free trade, apartheid, uh, growing up poor from Bekomo, um, working with uh, uh, trade unions, everything, everything he, he, he led a good life that we should. Uh, celebrate. Politicians and dignitaries were also present Friday, remembering the former Prime Minister fondly. I'm a former Canadian diplomat, and uh, the, during the period of uh, former Prime Minister uh, Mulroney, uh, we had a very strong foreign policy, uh, including with South Africa, obviously, but also other parts of the of the world. And uh, that's one uh, one thing that I will uh, I, I, recall, I remember of uh, Prime Minister uh, former. Prime Mr. Mulroney, and that's why I'm here. Mr. Mulroney was uh, uh, very ambitious and audacious. He was a risk taker. Uh, the Mischlick Accord, the Free Trade Agreement, the GST, those were all policies that uh, needed a lot of courage to be pursued. Mr. Mulroney was such a powerful force for not only the country, but he's in our heart. I had the privilege to have met him um, in, uh, in my private life and uh, he left a very strong uh, impact on me for his for his joy some of the eulogies expected Saturday will be from Mulroney's daughter Caroline Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Wayne Gretzky Prime Minister Mulroney was probably one of the greatest prime minister we ever had he was nonpartisan you know he was he rose above uh, circumstances and was able to give a view I, I'm just amazed by his career in Montreal, Anastasia Dextreen, City News.